The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 234 pounds, the Nature Boy, Rip Flair. People ask, who do you think is the greatest champion of all time? To me, it's a toss-up. It's either Rick Flair or Shawn Michaels. Flair dominated the 80s as no one has ever dominated a decade. Shawn Michaels dominated the 90s. It took what Flair had done to another level. Well, there have been a lot of guys who've wanted to be like Rick Flair. in some of the greatest five-star matches and match of the year candidates. And one common denominator is that they usually had either Ric Flair or Shawn Michaels in them. And that's why this match is almost guaranteed to be special. I love it! The Texas crowd does too, King. The cheers for HBK already starting up from his home state fans. But you can hear that Flair has his cult following too, as always. Well, this isn't the first time these men have been in the ring together, but it is the first time Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels have squared off one-on-one. -on -one. And it's been pretty to this, King. Shawn Michaels and the Nature Boy were on opposite sides of a six-man tag team match at Backlash just a few months ago. And since then, things have gotten very ugly between them. Well, maybe things have gotten ugly between Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels since Backlash, but it was only the Nature Boy doing what he needed to do. You mean sucker punching Sean on Raw two weeks ago? Yeah. Maybe it was something Ric Flair needed to do, but I'm not sure it was something he should have done. Ooh, what a vicious backbreaker! You know, Shawn Michaels might be as athletic a superstar as we have in WWE today. And that's always the one thing to watch out for in a Shawn Michaels match. With his athleticism, HBK has the ability to dictate the pace of a match, like a fast-break basketball team. Well, that's if he gets going, Cole. Ric Flair is doing everything he can to prevent Shawn Michaels from getting any kind of momentum in this match. Woo! It was just a little over two years ago that we saw one of the greatest events in WWE history held right here in Houston, WrestleMania 18. Well, there's always been a rich history between WWE and the state of Texas, Cole, and this incredible event is just going to add one more chapter to that book. Yeah, and I live here. How awesome was that? Is there anybody more out there than the Nature Boy? He's not exactly hopping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? The one thing Rick Flair wants to do here tonight is negate the speed and quickness. Oh, what's Flair going for here? But wait, a reversal by Shawn Michaels and boom! Flair hit that corner hard. It's dazed. Yeah, really dazed. Here comes HBK. Oh, Flair in the corner now. Shawn Michaels has him, but wait a minute. Referee. Oh, look oh, at that. Blake low blow. 
And I think, I think Ric Flair got both HBK and the referee. What are you going to do now, Nature Boy? Woo! Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Ric Flair is getting... Oh, look at this! Ric Flair with a figure four, but no! Shoved right into the official. And now Shawn Michaels is ready to go. Oh. And he's tuning up the band for some sweet chin music on Nate. Look out, Nature Boy! And he connects! Who the man. heck? Randy Orton with a steel chair to the back of Shawn Michaels. And look at this, he's putting Nature Boy on top of HBK. The youngest member of Evolution. Are you kidding Helping the referee? His, his buddy Flair. And there's the three count. I can't believe this, Cole. No, I can't. That's the way these guys operate. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, is He's almost unconscious. There's no way he could have won this match over Shawn Michaels without the help of Randy Orton. Ric Flair can barely stand, but Shawn Michaels is out. Orton paying dividends. 